Hello. For this lesson, we are going to discuss how we can edit our work. Remember, your student can spend several days on the same writing piece. But after they are finished with their writing, we want to go back and you would need to sit with your students and help them edit their writing. Remember, when we're editing our writing, we want to be sure of several things. We want to be sure that we have used capital letters when we are writing our words at the beginning of every sentence. So you would take your piece of writing that we have right here, and you would make sure that all of your sentences begin with a capital letter. So here we have our first letter that has a capital. Here's our second sentence that begins with a capital. But here's our last sentence, and if your student forgot to put their capital letter, just have them erase it and make sure that they change that to a capital letter and remind them that when we write, the first word that we write in our sentence should begin with that capital letter. Then we move on to our next editing piece and that will be to make sure that our words all have spaces, that we have included our spaces between our words. You can get out Mr. Spaceman and put it between every word to make sure that they have included their space. Now here are the words give hugs. And as you can see, your student maybe didn't forget their finger space. So same thing, just have them erase and fix it. If there's enough room, then have them rewrite the word with that space. So that there are proper spaces between each word. Then you will want to make sure that yes, the first letter is the capital, but every other one after that is a lowercase letter, unless, of course, you're writing a name or another thing like that. So let's look through. You can see here that they put an uppercase G instead of a lowercase G. They can erase and change it. You can see here's another that should be a lowercase letter. Just encourage them to erase it when they're editing. Change it. Let's make sure that all of our letters have been written in the correct direction. You can see, uh-oh, they put that C backwards. Remember, it's very common in kindergarten for our students to put letters backwards. All we need to do is just remind them which direction it goes and have them fix it. And then, of course, to put our periods at the end of our sentence. Remember, a great way for them to remember this is that when your voice drops down, that is the clue that it is the end of the sentence. So I can be kind. I can give hugs, period. I can help clean, period. These are some of the different ways that you can help your student to edit their work after they are done writing. And then, of course, now encourage them to get their crayons and draw a picture showing all of the things that they wrote about. Remember, our picture should always match our words. So they can draw a picture of themselves giving hugs or cleaning up. And this is how you will edit your student's writing. Happy writing!